The other day, guy asked me, he says, they have a habit, people have a habit who don't like what I say, and you probably saw it. What is your record, right? They'll ask me this. What is your record on a particular boxing channel? What is your record, right? Because they don't think I have the right to say what I say. And they'll say, well, how many MMA fighters have you trained, right? So, my answer to them is what I'm telling you guys, if anybody ever says something to you, right? My record is that I've knocked out more people with gloves and bare hands than most of you critics have teeth in your mouth. What will people say about you in your hometown? Okay, that, that's an answer to you people. My record is I have knocked out people with their hands up. I have knocked out people when they just, somebody just got in the way and said, Carmen, that's it, and grabbed me by both arms and turned me away, right? I've knocked out people when the person didn't know they were knocked out and they were laying down and throwing punches, right? That's my record. Now, who have I trained? I'm gonna get this out of the way, right, so I can train my guys and you can watch. What MMA fighter have I trained? I haven't trained any great MMA fighters. What I have done is trained somebody who was only five foot 11, 170 pounds, and was shot five times because somebody six foot, 250 pounds, got word that he was after, okay? That's, that's the fighter. Shot the man five times out of fear. And in his prime, he was five foot 11, 170 pounds, okay? That's my greatest student right there. So, for you people who think that fighting starts with Big John McCarthy saying, are you ready, or are you ready, let's get on. That's the problem. There are real people from my hometown who I have not seen in 30 years, more than 30 years, 40 years, who will tell you, yes, this guy is telling you the truth. And you will likely see it on this video. What do people say about you in your hometown? And as far as MMA fighters, I have trained MMA fighters, that's not what I'm about. What I'm about is not teaching these guys how to fight. I'm about teaching these guys how to hurt people, okay? And there's a big difference. If I have to get some coffee, some scolding hot coffee, and throw it on your BJJ black belt ass, I will do it, and then start the punch, okay? So I just want to establish that. I love my job. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, uh, me and, you two guys, we were probably talking about, and, and you were here yesterday, right? Okay, the delivery system. It's, we know we've done it before. Okay, we have things where we are punching hard. So for example, um, we have situations where we know that if the person is talking, that it's always better to do something like a jet style and, and, and snap, or it's better to turn away and and smack the guy or something like that or get an arm drag and come around and throw the guy down. The problem is that when you have other um, combative teachers, they don't have a hand system, and we talked about that, they don't have the hand system. So what if it doesn't work? What if, what if I, I'm arguing with this guy and, and then I throw something and he falls off balance, but now we have to fight. That's what most, most uh, combative teachers don't have. They don't have a hand system. And I'm saying most of the most popular ones who make a good living, they don't have a hand system to where you're actually in front of the person and now you have to work your way into a position where you can get them and you can hurt them. In other words, they can show you how to develop power. They can show you how from a dead, from a dead stance, you can just smack or you can palm, right? Or you can dead butt. But what happens when it's mano a mano, right? And you have to work your way in. That's where our hand system is superior. So we keep coming back to that because nothing else works if we don't get that. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back. We've seen it before, right? He's going to throw one, two, right? And you're going to palm. I just want you to put your hand right here. Okay? Go again. 
want you, and then put your hand right here. What that's going to be is actually a palm, but we're not going to do it here, okay? So again, you're going to go one, two, and you're going to slide outside, boom. Now, some people might think this doesn't work. We're going to show them why it does work. If I'm trying to go for the fist, uh, throw it, throw it, throw uh, a one, two as hard as you can, a fat one, hard, as fast as you can. Go. Okay. Now, this, go, go again, uh, fast as you possibly can. Okay. Now, this right here, if I, if he was coming at me, and I didn't know what he was throwing, and I was aiming for this, this is a very small target. But if I'm willing to move my body slightly, and I'm understanding that I have from here to here to throw his punch off, I wouldn't use just a parry, I would cut. Which in Kali means to literally cut, cut across. So from here, you throw it as hard as you can now, fast as you can. Now I'm cutting it across, go. And I'm cutting up top. So once I cut up top, go. Now I can cut and come in. Because I'm using the very, I'm using the whole arm and I'm not trying to parry in a perfect sense as much as I'm intercepting a street. I'm coming across a street. So say you throw a jab, go. And I'm coming across the street, right? So go as fast as you can. One, two, what you say? Uh, one, two. And I'm coming across, go. I'm coming across. Okay? Now, ultimately, what this would be, because I have control, it would be this. Go, go, boom! That's what it would be. Go, boom! And what's happening is I'm slamming his ear. Right into his ear. Now, say I couldn't hit him in his ear. If I couldn't go again, bang! I'm hitting him up on top of the head. This, many times you will see in boxing, a dude gets hit on top of the head and that throws his equilibrium off. You can easily get this shot. You can easily get it. It's not hard to get. In a real street fight, it is not hard to get because you're moving your body out of the way. So you go, one, two, throw a slow. You're moving your body out of the way in such a way, go. The person is moving into you. They're moving in, literally moving into the shot. I'm not doing a Kali type of thing. I'm not going to go so, I'm not going one. <laughs> you know, I'm not doing that, right? I'm just moving across, moving my body out of the way and crossing a street, cross sector of a street. So you go again, boom, and this I'm just coming right in with the palm, right into the ear, right? Now, of course, once you catch them, boom, and then they move back, say so you move back, that's when you, Bang, bang, you might come across. And you don't even have to do an arm drag with this one. Once you catch somebody, one, two, when you slide across, it's a big, it's a big rip. You can be on the side of somebody. Say you're on the side of me. You can literally come around, come this way, right? Exactly. And get that. You don't have to be to a man's back. You can stretch and come around. If you have to jump, say if you have to jump and come around. Boom. You, you ain't gonna hurt me. Jump, you can jump up. Bang. All the way around. Jump up all the way around. Bang. And then rip. You're literally taking that arm up over top. Okay? It works. You want to stun. Stun the person by hitting them anywhere up, up in the head. Okay? So we're gonna work on that. All you're gonna do is a one-two. He's gonna throw a one-two. Now, in the southpaw case, it's the front hand. Okay, so he goes one, cross again. Boom, right, in the, right, right here. Lay it on, we're gonna use a pad through the palm, right? But for now, I want you to just lay it on the side of your face. Okay, um, pair up with anybody, it doesn't matter. You, when you cut across, and you don't imagine you throwing me off balance, is that supposed to be too? That might happen. I'm off balance already. Okay, when, when he, Oh, when he cuts across you? Yeah. Yes. Yes, if you do it right, you're going to throw the guy off balance. Because if you do the one, two, right? You're throwing the guy off balance, actually, if you do it right. That's what you mean? Yeah. Yeah, you're, he, the guy is going to be, you're going to interrupt his structure. 
okay? Uh, you guys turn this way so you can see how we go. So you're gonna work this way. How we gonna walk the one five pieces? Uh, do it. I wanna I wanna cement this into your uh, um, your mind. So do it ten times a piece and don't switch. I've done it too hard. Now, your stance, I want you more from here. Don't squat so low. Reason is because you're not giving that opportunity. We're working from a position where generally you don't even know the guy's going to squat. Gotcha. Here you look too prepared. Now, when you throw it, say, say you cross, do it, you cross, one. Now, this hand should almost be always on, on his way. Right, on his way. No, lay it on. You want you? He's all right. Lay it on the side of his face. Okay. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> and that's how it's going to be. Did you? There's a delay. There's a delay. You want to go one? Boom. Oh, delay on me, bro. Sorry about that. I think it's all about that. That's probably more than 10. Boom. I'm sorry. I did whatever I had. Right? You want to go one? Boom. Gotcha. Right? As soon as he throws, bang. Like a ball. Bang. 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 Oh, so it's at the same time. Yeah, if you can, yeah. I'll yeah. Boom, perfect. Boom. Boom. Okay, nice, all right. I'm a happy camper. Okay, now switch. Oh, uh, yeah, right. we switch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, no, you did not. I didn't want to say it. I wasn't counting. Uh, me neither. But it's 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 good. Good. you can get one, yeah. Bang, good. Now, slide outside enough. More. Yeah, so you go, go again. Do it slow. One, two. You want to slide. Don't slide in so much. Okay, so it's still slide. Right, no. no. Go again. And, and, <laughs> now, no, no. That's it. Don't slide in. Go one, two. Now, this you need leverage. You need leverage. Now you stretch out on it. Okay, guys, watch. So don't slide. Yeah, you don't want to shorten your shot. Like if he's here, uh, he goes one, two. I don't want to step in like this, right? Wow. I want to stretch out. More power if you stretch out instead of as a bonus. Oh slide. yeah, yeah, because you because it's kinetics. Mm -hmm. Everything is firing out like this, as opposed to this kind of shot. You'll get him, but we're driving through. Boom. Huh? Almost like a cross. It is. It is. It's a, it's, a, it's a cross. It's a cross. Right. Bang. That's that's it. Bang. Perfect. Boom. I'm fighting. Boom. You're fighting tonight. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now the next one. So one shot here go. And you palm. Bang. Right? This one is coming back. Right? This one is coming back. So once this comes back, go. That's when you throw another palm. So it goes one, two. Boom. Boom. Okay? It goes one. In that draws back, and then this one in the face. I'm sorry, no, no, I'm good. hello. Yeah. I'm good, I'm good. Okay, so you throw it one chip. So once I go here, uh, I'm going here, to go one chip, right? Boom, this comes across, and then this one shifts it. Boom, same place, see? huh? Same, same, same place, same. right? Oh, this side of the here. So if I go one chip, now have one. Two, right. 
Bang. Bang. Put, put, I mean, right, right, the, this palm right here. You don't want, if you don't have to have it, you don't want this part here. You want to slam with this, with that part. Bang, right here in the ear. Right, okay? Right there. Now, when this comes back, now that one comes to Boom, exactly. For the cameras, at some point, at some point, a fist is not getting you results. At some point, and I have to say this because most of these people are going to be like, why is he palming? Because at some point, this is not going to get results, guys. Say you say you, you ball up your hands. You get results with a fist if you get hit in the nose, if you punch a guy in the nose, punch a guy in the mouth, where there's pain. If you hit a dude up on top of the head, you're not going to get a whole lot of results here. Okay? You can literally get the same, a better result if you take your palm, put your fingers back, and with this part right here, you smash into his nose. Now, if you take your own palm, put it on your nose, mm -hmm. and smash it in. Once you smash that cartilage, that cartilage, several things happen, right? What's the first thing that happens? He's closing his eyes. Water. Nose bleed. Water from where? Eyes. Right. As soon as you get hit in your nose, boom, right, your eyes are going to start to tear. And that affects his what? Vision. His vision. So what comes after that now, he's not going to be able to see well. And as far as clearing up, eventually, he doesn't really, at what point are you going to let him clear up? Ain't going to get a it's not going to happen. So he's never going to be able to see clearly what's coming once you catch him with that. Okay? So there's certain shots that this literally happens. You hear, like, talking about gangsters. People who have snuck people, right? They say things and we laugh. But what do they say? People who have, have snuck people and know the results of sneaking people, right? So you people from the suburbs, you don't know this, but you're going to get something. They say, I'm going to what the shit out of you. Slap. Slap the shit out of you. Right? And we laugh. Oh, he can't mean it. Oh, yeah, he means it. Because he has slapped people. <laughs> and he has slapped them and know that after he slaps them, they are more than willing to comply with whatever which he had prior to being slapped. Right? Bam! You slap somebody and you are driving that air because this is this is air. And as you slap and you cup your hand, right? Say you cup your hand, you are driving, literally, you can't see it, you are driving air into the eardrum. You're capturing air, right? And you are smashing it into the eardrum. And that's what exposes the eardrum. That's what busts the eardrum. That's when it starts bleeding. So if you're talking to somebody and you go boom and you throw a punch up top, you're gonna hurt the person, but you're not gonna get this kind of dizziness going on. You're not gonna get this kind of, kind of equilibrium going on. But if you turn from here and he takes his foot out, come up here, he takes his foot and shifts it out slightly, a violent, no, 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 a violent step, like this, like this. Say I'm here, right, and I want my body to go this way. <clears throat> if you go like that and this arm follows like baseball, right, that's how you throw it. You're not throwing straight you're throwing one in the catapult. Right? Same thing with, with the slap. Once you step out, go, that slap has a, not a one thing, it has a one, two. Mm. You see what I mean? So I'm going, it's a whip. If you got your hand up, uh, I'm going, I'm not going like this as much as I'm going. Right? So you're driving it in with a like a whip. Right? As you're stepping. So when you step, bang, that's gonna create in the ear. Right in the ear. Okay? Right in the ear. So once you do that, that's where your stunning is. Boom. Right? But you get you get the point. Well, I got the point. Right? So that's what you wanna do. When you're throwing in palms, these palms hurt. So he throws a one, two, go. Boom! And you palm. Oh, that wasn't hard. That wasn't hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. That wasn't that hard. Right? So I go, what again? 
bang, and you palm, and then the other one shifts through, boom, and the other one shifts through. Now, once the other one shifts through, he goes, one, two, go, and I palm, boom, and this one shifts through, right? Now you go back, right? Now you can snatch. Now you can snatch, boom. Boom, now you can snatch, okay? So that's what we wanna do. We're gonna go one, two, palm, bang, then shift and palm again, boom, okay? That's when you start calling the time out. <laughs> maybe, maybe we over. Maybe I overstepped my bounds. You got, you got to teach us how to go time out and tell them I don't right. want no more. Right. Now, right. your hands should be moving like pistons. Boom, boom, right. But drive, move, stretch out. It works because you can't see them. You mm -hmm. can't see them. And like you said, it just and, and it, and it like creates it creates uh -huh. a, a stun because he's. He has a um, uh, also something else, another element, is that when a person is throwing, they are throwing, are they thinking about their defense? They're not thinking about the defense. So once that goes, go slow. He thinks that he's going to throw, and anything else that comes back, not that you think it, but the person thinks anything else that comes back, that it will come back when they are ready again. That's the problem. That's the problem they have. Right? They think they'll go one, two. And anything you throw, you'll throw when they're back. Which means that the brain is not ready, ready to receive a shot. How many of you have seen boxing matches? We're almost done, but how many of you have seen boxing matches? And you knew the guy could punch, right? But somehow he didn't knock out the other guy. He was ready. He was ready for the punch. He was ready for what he had to face. Right? I know the guy punches. So he goes 12 rounds. Yeah. Now the guy who says, man, nah, worry about him. That's the one that gets knocked out. There's people who have gone the distance. Why did Timothy Bradley? He didn't win that first fight, Manny Pacquiao. But why did he go? Two whole fights with Manny Pacquiao. 24 rounds with Manny Pacquiao. He went 24 rounds with Manny Pacquiao because he knew Manny Pacquiao could punch. He was ready even in the first fight. I know he can punch. So he's ready. And if you talk to Timothy Bradley right now, many people don't, don't care for but I think he's one of the best commentators of today. He said, man, most people when they fight, when they throw a combination, a, a three-piece, the last punch is the hardest punch. And that's how it is. The one, two, three, the third punch is usually the hardest punch. He said, with Manny Pacquiao, all three punches are hard. Now, you look at some other fighters like Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar De La Hoya quit, quit on his stool. Right? When is Oscar Pedro Hoyer just quit? Just, I, I had enough. Not got knocked out, but just, I had enough. Well, the reason is because when he fought Manny Pacquiao, he saw somebody who was 5'6". And there is no way that I can fight Bernard Hopkins. There's no way I can fight Ike Corte. There's no way I can fight Phyllis Trinidad and fight this guy, and this guy's going to stop me. So he was not ready for this little, this little guy moving towards him. Look at the guy we talk about today, right? What would you say about uh, Muhammad? Oh, yeah. It's the same principle. Now, if you get in front of Muhammad, you know what to expect. I said, okay, Muhammad, you're going to work with Red. Red knows what to expect. <laughs> Everybody here, I know what to expect from in front of Muhammad. I know what to expect. He's a heavy headed, right? And it's going to feel like grenades going off on my arms. Well, it's the same thing when you're fighting. When, when somebody's fighting you, they think they're going to knock you out. They may have done it, they may have watched some UFC, they may have watched. Chairman Crawford, right? And people think they're fighters by osmosis. Most of the people watching this video think they're fighters by osmosis. I have seen some DVDs. I have mastered, I can repeat what I saw on the DVDs. I am an official world champion, right? So when a guy throws, he thinks you're going to throw back, maybe. But he thinks you're going to throw back and he's going to be prepared. But that's not what happens. Once he throws and you pound him, boom. He's not, he's not ready for that. He's not ready for that. Spe and, and you hit him anywhere from here. If you hit the guy in the air, that's preferable. If you hit him on top of the head, or if you hit him between where the jaw, where the, the, the top and the bottom meet, right? That can break his jaw. So once you catch the person, you go one, two, and you catch the boom with that palm, and then you shift forward, boom! Keep in mind, our delivery system is we are not, we're turning, right? We're shifting forward or we're drop stepping. 
Those are three ways to get power. One, I can turn in with a shift. The other, I can lean forward and shift. And the other one, I can just, I can violently move forward. And as I move forward, boom, boom, my punch is coming, my shot is coming out. In this case, he goes one, two, right? I'm going, boom, I'm stretching out, boom. Now this one is, boom, this one then comes out. Now once this comes out, that's when he's not going to be too far from you. Your arms do not come out like this. They don't go like this, right? They, once he throws, once I go one, two, and he palms go, boom, right? And then the other one goes, boom. Now as I move back, as I move back, right? You're coming in slightly. Your arms close in, right? Now they close in because anything I throw up top is good. They close in and they shoot out. Okay? So he goes one, two, I palm, boom, then I palm again, right? I close in from here. Now you straighten up a little bit. Straighten up a little bit. From here, these arms, now this arm stretches out. They don't open up. They go like this. Okay? From me doing that, as I'm closing in, look at a karate, um, uh, a part in the karate. So many people that will do the basic uh, hyun shoda, they will go like this. And they're turning like this. Instead of how it's supposed to be, where you're going like this. Right? That's, you're covering yourself. I've blocked here. When I turn around, I can't block this way. But they're doing it, they're going like this. The Japanese would say, whoa! How long do you say in Japanese, time out, right? You gotta go one, you block, and then, and then down. It's the same thing if he's here, right? And I throw one, two, and you throw the palm. Now you throw the other palm. Now you come in and your arms are wide. This is no good. He can punch in between. But if you go one, two, palm, bang, throw the other palm, boom, and you're right. Now, it's basically like this. Especially if you turn your head. Turn your head as you're coming in. So he goes one, two, I go, palm. Then I palm again, right, and this hand is here. Now my head is down. My head is this way, and but I'm looking. <clears throat> then you shoot. And when you shoot, the hand comes in, and pulls in, right? So I'm gonna grip my teeth. So you bring your hands in, you do it, go. Right, exactly. You will get dizzy like that, right? Right, go. <laughs> yeah, bro, I see you start. Right? So that's the key. You one, two, one, two, you go with one, two, palm, boom, palm, boom. Right, and then you, and you come a little bit past the head, and then, and then retreat them back. Wow. Right? Once you do that, now you have them, and you turn. So, I want you to go one, two, palm, palm, grab the neck. That could definitely knock somebody out. It can. Now, each time we do something, what are we doing? Each time with everything, boom, boom, boom. We're never letting them have comfort but we are inflicting what? Pain. We're inflicting pain, we're inflicting pain, we're inflicting trauma with every single thing we do. You, this is why I have a problem with some of this movie Thai thing because people say, oh, movie Thai, and then they go like this. <clears throat> right? Meanwhile, the guy is really calm. You grab a guy, you, I hit you, say you don't, they, you throw the one, two. I palm, then I palm, and I'm like this. Now I grab him like this. This guy's okay, he's gonna, he gonna be okay. But if he goes one, I put a one, two, and you palm. Bang, and then you palm again. Bang, now you come in. No, no, no. You know, that's where I grip my teeth. So you, you go what? I go one, two, palm, now you palm again. Boom, now go. No, right on top. See, you coming down on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. You want to come across the neck, because this, this is the brain stem, like this. You don't want to come like this. See what I mean? 
Cycle one, two, bang, bang. Right, exactly. Exactly. You come down on that brain, I felt it, right? You come down on that brain, pop! This is connecting your brain. Once you snatch them, pop! The, the head is moving forward so fast that the brain in that liquid is shifting. It's shifting, what? It's shifting. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. It's, it's, a, it's temporary whiplash. Wow. Right? And that's that's the same motion that you do, like, I forgot what you called it, when dude's hands up, you just snatch it down. That's like the same thing. But it's pretty much the same principle. It's a, a jet style with Jacuzzi, right? Now, we're going to do that, and then we're going to do the last thing. All the while, this person's not recovering. We don't want the person to recover from the initial shock. We don't want the person to cut out. Right, so he throws a one to him, right? We don't want the person to recover from that. Because they've already thrown punches. They've already thrown punches. You shouldn't be letting them get, get that off again, right? So we're gonna do one, two, boom, boom, right? And then I want to go into the clinch. Yeah. No, he, I want you to step back a little bit. Once you get hit with the last palm, step back a little bit, and I want because I want the guy to have to come in. You want me to step back? Yes, the guy who got so, palm. One, two. two, boom. Now you step forward, boom, and you bang exactly. Oh, okay, I see. What you're but you are going to hug the man. You can't be going to hug the guy. You got to get around. Him. I mean, don't don't hit him hard, but your hands got to get out, boom, and hold. Really, so like you said, you can really give him a nice little step back. Okay, well, slow it down. We don't want, we don't want, we want to uh, give each shot its right. Shipping through. You think that that person is going to recuperate if you if you have a little time between it. But they're not. They're not. If, if I go like this, go, and I go one, two, I think, you think that if I go one, two, boom, like this, that he is going to automatically recuperate and come back to fighting position. It's not gonna happen. Because you, you went, first, the brain doesn't think that you're gonna come back. I'm telling you, if that person does not think you are going to come back, it is going to be a shock.